Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. So from today onwards, we'll be starting with our new series of questions on JWE Advanced. And today's question that we are taking for this is from the year 2023. And the question that we are taking is from the topic of differential equations. So if I talk about the question which is given to us here, from this topic, the question tells that there is a differentiable function f which goes from the limits from 1 till the values of f of x less than infinity. So till the values of x from 1 till less than infinity. And the further function says that this is a differentiable function with a condition which is given to us that says f of 1 is equal to 1 over 3 and 3 times integral of 1 to x f of t dt is equal to x into f of x minus x cubed divided by 3 where x belongs to 1 till the values of x less than infinity. Further, the question tells us E denotes the base of natural logarithm and the question is asking me to figure out the value of f of t. And if I talk about the answer choices that we have been given here, the options are e square plus 4 divided by 3. The second answer choice I have here is log of 4 to the base e plus e divided by 3. The third answer choice we have is 4 e square over 3. The last answer choice I have here is e square minus 4 divided by 3. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question that is asked to us here. So let's try to solve the question further and find out the correct answer for the question. Before starting off with the solution for this question, I would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on everyday basis. And it is free for you, but also motivates me to put up better content and try to make the solutions as easy as possible. So you understand them in a better way. Let's see how to solve the question further then. So if I talk about the steps to solve this question, first thing I understand here is that I need to understand how to integrate this function which is given to us, which is integration of 1 to x f of t dt. So first, let's understand how to integrate this function. Then whatever we get the answer, we'll put that in the expression given to us. So first of all, if I talk about the formula, how to integrate this, it says, if you have g of t to h of t as the limits and the function is given, which you have to integrate, which is f of x dx, it is given to us as take the derivative of the upper limit into function of that upper limit minus Take the derivative of the lower limit into the function of the lower limit, which is present. So you apply this idea to get the integral of this function. So let's see. I have 1 to x f of t dt. That basically gives me derivating or differentiating the upper limit. So differentiation of x, which is 1, into function of h of t, that is upper limit. So f of x minus the derivative of the lower limit, which is 0, into the function of the lower limit, which is f of 1. So from here, if I solve this, I get this is f of x. And 0 into anything is always 0, so you just get f of x. So for this, I get the answer, it is f of x. Now once I have this, I have my expression with me. So in this expression, I can put instead of this as f of x. So if I have this as f of x, this only happens when you take differentiation of this integral that is present, right? So if I have to find a derivative of an integral function, then I get this answer. So basically it is nothing but derivative of this integral function that I'm taking. So when I'm taking the derivative of this integral function, I'm getting this as f of x. So derivative of this integral function is f of x. When derivative of this integral function is f of x, what I understand is I'll write this expression and then I'll derivate or differentiate it with respect to x everywhere. So let's see what I get. So I had the expression which said 3 times integral from 1 to x f of t dt 
is equal to it was given to us that said x f of x minus x cube divided by 3 so if i differentiate this entire function with respect to x what i get here is for the first one we understood it says 3 and derivative of this integral is f of x which is equal to x into if i apply product rule here to find the differentiation gives me f dash of x plus f of x into derivative of x which is 1 minus the derivative of this basically becomes 3x squared divided by 3. So if I further solve it, I get x f dash of x plus f of x minus this cancels and you get x squared. Further, if I try to solve it, this f of x goes on the other side becomes minus f of x. So you get 3 times f of x minus f of x is equal to x f dash of x minus x squared. So you have this entire thing here. Now once I have this, I get this is 2 times of f of x equals x f dash of x minus x squared. Now once I have this, I'll take 2 f of x here and x square on the other side. And let's see what I get here. So I get x f dash of x minus 2 f of x. So I have minus 2 f of x is equal to x squared. Now, once I have this, I understand it is of the form dy over dx plus py equals to q. So, once I get that in the form dy over dx plus py equals to q, to first convert it in that form, I'll divide throughout also by x. So, if I divide throughout by x here, let's do it. I get this toning out to become f dash of x minus 2 over x f of x is equal to x. Once I have this entire thing, I'll compare it with my general form which says dy over dx plus py equals to q. I know y is a function f of x, dy over dx is the derivative of that function f of x. So if I compare both of them, I get this as p becomes minus 2 over x q becomes x. Once I have p and q with me, I can just find the solution of the differential equation. So first, if I find integrating factor if, it says e raised to integral of p dx, which is e raised to integral of minus 2 over x dx. That basically gives me e raised to minus 2. Integral of 1 over x, we know it is natural log of x. That gives me e raised to natural log of x raised to minus 2. And we know e raised to natural log of f of x is nothing but f of x. So from there I get x raised to minus 2. So I can write this is 1 over x squared. So I have my integrating factor which is 1 over x squared. Now once I have the integrating factor, I can further find the solution of this differential equation. So if I want to find the solution of this differential equation, I can write this is y into integrating factor is equal to integral of q into if into dx plus c. So if I put it here y, if is 1 over x squared. q, from the previous expression I know q is x. if is 1 over x squared dx plus c. This and this again cancels. I get y over x squared is equals to integral of 1 over x which is basically natural log of x plus c. So I need to find the constant of this differential equation C. So to find that, what I'll do here is, I'll use my idea which is given to me, which says f of 1 is equal to 1 over 3. So I know f of 1 is equal to 1 over 3. Means at x equals to 1, the function's value is 1 over 3. Now once I have this, I'll put that in my solution of the differential equation. And my solution of the differential equation is y over x square is equals to natural log of x plus c. Once I have that, I will put 1 over 3 over 1 square equals natural log of 1 plus c. So from here, I get this is 1 over 3. Natural log of 1 is 0 plus c. So from here, I get c is 1 over 3. If I put that again in this solution of the differential equation, I get this is y over x square natural log of x 
plus c which in this case was 1 over 3 so we got this c as 1 over 3 now once i got the c value as 1 over 3 i can write in terms of y entirely so i get x square natural log of x plus 1 over 3. So I have this y in terms of x now. So y is nothing but f of x. So f of x is x squared. Natural log of x plus 1 over 3. Once I have the function f of x with me, the question is asking for the value of f of e. Once the question is asking me for f of e, I know I have to put instead of x, e everywhere. So if I put x, instead of x, e everywhere, I get this is e squared. This becomes natural log of e plus 1 over 3. So I get e square. Natural log of e, I know it's 1 plus 1 thirds. So 1 and 1 third, if I add it, I get 4 thirds e square. So I get 4 over 3 e square. And if I talk about the answer choice that matches here with the question that is given to us, the answer choice that is correct here is option C, 4 e square over 3. And that basically becomes your answer as option C. So C becomes a correct answer for the question that is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions on differential equation. It was a pretty simple question. The only extension that they had in this question was how to find the derivative of a function which is already integrated. So we understood that, how to find it. And then further, you can easily solve the question and get the answer for the question and the answer matches with options. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic and we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE Advanced now. Till the time you give your advanced papers. I'll see you again tomorrow. Also, if you're enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel. And share this channel with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions that we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.